DCL commands. Okay, DCL data control, data control language, data control language. Okay, here we have two DCL commands. One is grant and revoke. Grant and revoke. Fine. Now, we are going to learn about DCL commands. So, there are two DCL commands grant and revoke. Okay. Now, before going to learn these things, we should learn, we should learn something, okay, some basic DBA activities. Basic DBA activities. Already, I have told these things when I started the course. Okay. So, again I will repeat it, because here we are giving the permission. So, grant means giving permission, giving permission to access or modify the data okay giving the permission to access or modify the data okay this is revoke means taking back the permissions taking back the permissions given okay is revoke okay now these two we are giving for a user Okay, another user. Okay, let us say we are something user one. We are something user one. Okay, here we have a table. Okay, so here we have our own table. Okay, now user two. So let us say this table name is something t1 okay table name is t1 okay now user 2 wants to work on t1 user 2 wants to work on my table t1 okay then how it will access so to access T1 of user 1 to access T1 of user 1, user 2 needs permissions, permissions from user 1. Okay. To access T1 of user 1, user 2 needs permissions from user 1. Okay. Fine. Now, 
what type of permissions you can give okay what type of permissions you can give okay so he can give the permission to access data access data okay so that is select privilege you can say these permissions are called privileges okay here permission is nothing but privileges privileges okay fine so this is called select privilege okay to access data to create data to create data he should have insert privilege insert privilege okay to delete data he should have delete privilege okay to update data he should have update privilege to alter table he should have alter privilege should have alter privilege okay so for all operations for all above operations he should have all privilege okay he should have all privilege okay all is also a privilege okay so this is very important okay to access data you should have select privilege for create data you should have insert privilege to delete data you should have delete privilege update data you should have update privilege alter table to add a column or delete a column or if he wants to do some modification in table structure okay then he should have alter privilege okay if he wants to do all the operations above operations then he should have all privileges okay now here we are giving permission from one user to another user okay so already we are in one user okay i will create another user i will create another user okay to create another user already we know that so create user how to create user okay so first connect to system because system is a dba so we are doing some dba activities connect to system okay and then create user so how to create user using this command create user user name okay some user name identified by identified by your password semicolon okay create user username identified by password okay now grant grant basic privileges okay basic privileges so these privileges are called these are all privileges are called data or table level privileges table level privileges okay so these privileges are called data or table level privileges okay now basic privileges means to connect to the database okay 
basic privileges means to connect to database or to use memory and queries of database management system okay so we'll be using basic privileges okay those basic privileges are here connect and resource connect and resource okay now this will be given like this okay so i'm writing here grant connect so connect and resource to your username okay newly created username okay so these privileges will be granted by the system so these all are done by system okay so here we will be doing the same thing so this is hr user so just i am clearing the screen just i am clearing the screen if you want to see the username show user show user will show the show the username so this is hr okay this is hr fine now i will create another user in another window okay so i want to interact between the windows okay i want to shift the data between the windows so i will run i will open another sql command line okay so i will zoom it okay see here so cls sorry clscr okay now first i will connect to system first i will create a user okay what is the manage what is the password here manager manager is a password okay fine so it is connected to system now first i will create a user create user username okay let us say the username is something beam username is beam and identified by identified by okay let us say beam 123 is a password okay so user is created okay now i will grant the basic privileges grant connect and resource to this beam okay grant connect and resource to beam fine now you can connect to your user beam and password is beam123 okay so it is connected so if you see the username now show user okay so user is beam okay now here we have a table select star from emp okay we have this table now i want to access this table here in beam now another user is uh, is trying to access the table from other user okay so to access like that we should give the table name as username username dot table name username dot table name you need to give okay so directly you cannot give the table name username dot table name okay so here i am going to beam so here if i write select star from username username is hr so we have emp in hr user so hr dot emp see here hr dot emp is not exist it is saying okay means 
the hr is not given the permission has not given the permission to access that table to beam now here i will give the permission okay to give the permission i should use grant okay so here to give permission i should use grant okay so now how will be that command see like this grant your privilege to sorry on your table name table name to username grant your privilege whatever the privilege you want to give so how what are the privileges we have we have these many privileges okay so select insert delete update alter and all okay so in this you can give any privilege okay so just i am giving a select privilege okay so here from hr i am writing here grant i will give only select privilege on emp table to beam username okay so grant is succeeded now you see here if you write now select star from emp so what is the spelling of from so select star from what select star from hr dot emp not directly you can write emp okay now you can see you are getting the same data that are there in emp table of hr okay so like this you can give permissions okay so we'll be discussing the further topics and further detailed discussion will be going on so in the next video fine thank you